Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle. This video will talk about the whole process of building suspension bridge over Elzmet Bay and as part of highway project connecting Istanbul. With a bridge length of 2682M, span length between 1550M, it is known as the fourth longest suspension bridge in the world. The bridge construction started with the production of the Kassoon, a Kassoon is a box-like huge structure made of steel concrete. For this project it is used as the base of the tower, the Kassoon was towed out to sea and the upper part was produced. The Kassoon Installation Range Undersea was excavated and flattened. To strengthen TH seabed, steel inclusion piles were installed and the surface was covered with a layer of gravel. And near completions of the Kassoon with steel shafts. It was towed to the designated place of the tower and carefully submerged. Thus the tower foundation was installed. Blocks assembled at the fabrication shop were delivered to the construction site, the blocks weigh between 200 and 300 tons. Up to the mid part, the tower was erected as block unit by a floating crane. The construction work was done by lifting the 40-ton panels one by one. The top section was installed and the 252M high tower was completed. First, a zipper for transporting materials was installed to form an air transport route. Bridge girders were fabricated at the shop. The girders were in total 113 block, each typically 25 m long with a weight 360 tons. Uninstall process request set the first blocks. The main cable was then constructed a strand of 127 steel wires was made at the factory. One hundred and ten strands were made into the main cable for the bridge. The girder blocks were delivered from the shop by a self-cruising barge to TH site and installed one after another. Installation took place in four sections of the bridge simultaneously. Finally, the day of TH last Goethe installation arrived. With the completion of TH bridge the journey that previously an hour by ferry and car was shortened to 6 minutes. This is the Erx viaduct over the deep ravine, Barranco de Erx consists of two arches, each weighing 120 tons and 110 meters long. Tubes for arches are formed by cold bending process, stay cables for deck hold are manufactured in the German city of Hamburg. Once the materials are delivered, after receiving the materials, assembly and welding takes place, with the arches fully formed and the floor divided into four sections. Each section consists of two abutment girders, 12 transverse beams, 78 longitudinal beams and three foundation stones for each arch. The deck is a metal grid made up of 26 m long transverse beams with variable span, as well as longitudinal beams. A slab made of reinforced concrete rests on the metal structure to make the road surface firm. 
the project uses self-compacting concrete with compression and expansion capacity of 50 MPa, allowing distribution of connector bolts, ensuring a supportive connection between steel and concrete in the same arch. After many years of work, it was inaugurated on December 18, 2015 with a total length of 21 km. This is the construction of the McCret Flexi Arch Road Bridge with a span of 15 meters in Shropshire, England. The patented Flexi Arch Bridge system is a flat pack precast concrete design which replicates the principles of the Masonry Arch Bridge. The McCrete Flexi Arch can be made for spans from 3M to 15M with the possibility of wider spans using multiple arches. The McCrete Flexi Arch is the invention of Professor Adrian Long, Queen's University Belfast. McCrete Limited is the commercial development partner. A new bridge will be constructed at this site to replace the existing Dickinson Ferry Road Bridge Bridge No. 39C0095 over Bear Creek. The foundation of the 8 feet deep pier on both the east and west sides was quickly constructed to serve as the foundation piles for the entire new bridge. The contractor then used the launch beam to install the three-span flatbed bridge with a width of 39 feet and a length of 105 feet. Each prefabricated bridge girder will be launched by beam catapults from one side to the other, consisting of three large girders. As a pedestal for the whole bridge, After launching the first girder, the catapult will continue with the second girder from the west bank to the east coast. Everything is going quite smoothly for both girder 1 and girder 2 and 3 launching the bridge is gradually forming the basic parts. After launching the girders, the bridge deck will be paved with flat steel pieces and then poured concrete on top. To the east of the bridgehead, the road surface asphalt concrete pavement will be tapered to fit the existing cross section. Finally, the bridge is completed and officially opened to traffic in May 2015. This is a brief video of the installation of the viaduct over the Ferreira River in Guten using a beam catapult to build at a height of 60 meters. Since the crane could not be used, the contractor decided to use the boss catapult despite the complicated implementation and low productivity. With five spans with lengths of 45-60-60-60-45M respectively, they use launch beams with length from 35-75M with weight from 600 knots to 4500 knots and maximum slope to launch is 5%. They consist of two mesh girders connected at both ends, on which the winch train rolls, made up of two carriages for lifting the girder to be launched and a third car for longitudinal displacement of the girder and frame. The prefabricated beams are transported from the warehouse to the jar by elephant cart. The trolley can travel at a speed of 5 km per hour while the catapult can only reach a speed of 3m a minute. These beams will be hoisted and roped at three points, then processed and assembled by qualified personnel.